What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode in this series where we take a look at the best players for all budgets. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best right backs for all budgets starting with 0 to 5,000 price range working our way through all the way to the superstar right backs as you can see there Hakimi who is from PSG he's going to feature later on in the video but if you've missed out on episodes 1 and 2 where we covered the goalkeepers and the left backs make sure and check them out as well but for now we're going to tear into it with our budget uh, budget option which is cyrus christie so 4900 gp i had to get an irish man in there somewhere it's been a while it's been a while since i i mentioned an irish player but we do have to shoehorn him in somewhere and this guy is a bit of a beast man i mean he's 4900 gp he's got unwavering form as far as i know so his form will stay up a lot of people were mentioning that in the comments to me which i will be covering a video on form uh, quite soon you can see there his rating is c at the moment but i'll cover a video on that but this guy for sub 5000 gp for under 5000 gp he's 188 centimeters he's got 77 speed 70 jumping and you can train him up quite a bit to be an actual really good budget right back if you want to splash a little bit more cash and get an upgrade on christy you can go for bayern munich sar so again very similar stat line very similar type of player in terms of his energy his energy and getting up and down the the right uh, wing we can play all the positions on the right side of the pitch which for 8000 gp is a huge advantage you could buy this guy as a right mid as well and he'd be a very very good addition to your squad i think he's well worth a look he's got double touch scotch move one touch pass gamesmanship interception and fighting spirit so he seems to be a really good kind of right midfielder right back wing backs type of player maybe in a 3-5-2 and a really good budget as well there is Sar. Next up, we've got a bit of pace, and we've gone for a bit of speed. Bayer Leverkusen's Frimpong. So I think his first name is Jerome Frimpong. I'm testing my knowledge there on the spot, but I think that's him. I could be confusing him with, with Jerome Boateng. Stranger things have happened, lads. But anyway, look, 83 speed, 84 acceleration, 74 stamina, 78 balance. You boost this guy up when he gets to level 10 or 15, you can have you know mid 80s for stamina you can have mid 80s for speed acceleration and balance which is really really solid for a right back that does have all these double touch and uh chop turn player skills that you can get up and down the pitch and again he can play right mid as well Thirteen thousand gp babu so this guy again i really like this guy he can play center back left back or right back so this guy could double up as a left back for you as well if you missed episode two where we had all the budget left backs this guy kind of seals the deal i think on a lot of the key stats that you need he's got 83 speed 80 acceleration and look at his player skills here he's got rising shots so he is you know able to play up a, a bit on the pitch He's got pinpoint crossing. He can get up and down on the overlaps. He can bomb up and down with the 81 stamina. And then defensively, fighting spirit, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance, long throw. He is probably the perfect budget right back, I would think. Apart from this guy, Lucas Vasquez. So I was a bit surprised, obviously, having following Madrid's journey in La Liga this year. Vasquez has kind of reinvented himself as a right back. And that is his registered position in this game in this mode now he can play right mid he can play right wing he's kind of an all-around kind of good on the ball right back now the one thing i think that lets him down is his price point of thirty-four thousand. i think if you're going to be going for a budget option right back i think babu who we just had there a second ago from wolfsburg is is probably better because he's nearly double the price lucas vasquez but i think if you have thirty-four thousand, he is the best option for that price now this is my pick i think Reese James is the best right back in the game if you just want an average to good in every stat all rounder for right back, right? He's 70,000 GP. There's a massive jump between the next two players compared to Reese James, and there isn't a huge jump between the stats when you decide to boost him up. Like if you max out Reese James and you max out the two other players that come after, it's not a massive difference in the stat line and how they perform. And I think that Reese James is the perfect right back if you are more of a defensive possession based player you know he's got all the speed and acceleration but he's also got weighted pass fight and spirit low lofted pass you know he's able to just get up and down the pitch Hakimi so this is probably my go-to guy if you are you know at the the upper end of your god squad and you've saved up maybe 100 200 000 gp and you're looking for your end game right back that is not a legend or is not a featured player you can go 
you could go a lot further wrong than Hakimi from PSG. I think he's probably the definitive right back. He's got the pace. He's got pretty much everything that you could need in the low to mid 70s. And he's also got, you know, the on the ball stuff as well. Um, his tight possession lets him down a small bit. But I think that that can kind of be overcome with a bit of training. And he's obviously got the ball control and dribbling, dribbling as well, which is quite solid. Now, we're going to be taking a look at Jao Cancelo. Obviously, he's the most expensive on this list. So when you look at it, right, Jao Cancelo is four times more expensive than Reese James. He's nearly three times more expensive than Hakimi, who we just had there a minute ago. Does, you know, is he worth that, right? He's obviously more of a ball ball player. Like you can see, he's got 84 loft to pass, which is very high for a right back. He can play left back and right mid as well. But he's got 82 stamina. He's got like, you know, high 70s into speed, double touch, scissor spin, flip flap. Um, he's got outside curler and slide and tackle. He is a phenomenal player. I just don't know. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments below. There is no right back worth 300,000 plus in this game. So we didn't need to include that in the price range for this. But yeah, Jao Cancelo, lads. I'm going to leave this comparison here from eFootballDB.com and let you guys in the, in the comments below let me know if budget isn't a concern, are you going to get Cancelo over Hakimi? Um, I mean, you can see there that in the stats, like... In black and white, obviously, Cancelo is the better option, you know, and we've we've just simulated this. The player levels, obviously, are just an example of how you could train up Cancelo and how you could train up Hakimi. Both level 20s, just to kind of give you an, an example, this isn't 100% accurate. Still working on that, but you can see that Cancelo outperforms Hakimi in a lot of stats, right? Except speed. And, you know, if you go in here, passing, dribbling, very, very high, shooting and defense is, is slightly uh, less. But I think Cancelo is a really good option if you do have money to burn. As I said, if you are the Monty Burns of eFootball GP. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you kind of saving and not spending massive money on those guys? Because there is a lot of players like that that are, you know, three times more or twice as more as the second option. So let me know in the comments below if Cancelo will be somebody that interests you guys. And of course, keep the suggestions coming in. Absolutely brilliant suggestions coming in for all positions on these videos. So I do appreciate it. Let me know the gems that you guys have found. And uh, yeah, we will talk to you back soon with the center backs. Peace.